Welcome filmmakers, this is Kerry with Filmmaker Central, and today I'm going to show you how to do dialogue recording within DaVinci Resolve. You asked for it, you got it. We'll be right back. So not everybody needs to do their dialogue recording within DaVinci Resolve. More often, you're going to do it with a recorder and then bring that audio in and, and put it together, but sometimes it's just easier to do it while you're working with the footage and just do a voiceover or to change a dialogue line, something like that. And so DaVinci does have that ability. Now, before we get too into this, there is an issue with DaVinci Resolve 16 and Mac OS Catalina. Now, if this does not work for you, and let's let's just check real fast, okay? We're gonna go, and this is only for Mac OS Catalina. Go to System Preferences, go to Security and Privacy, go to your microphone, and you should see DaVinci Resolve there. If you don't, and it doesn't ask you to give access to the microphone as we're going through this process, then I'll show you how to do uh, how to fix that at the end of this video. And so I'll put a time marker right here. So this is the spot in the video to go to if you're having problems getting DaVinci Resolve to show up in security and privacy. Um, so if you're having that problem, skip to that point, follow the directions there to fix the problem, and then come back here and we'll get started on how to do the recording. So we're looking at the timeline here, and I wanna make sure that I have an extra audio track down here. If you don't, just right click in there, add track. Uh, you can make it a mono or stereo track. I did a stereo track so that I've got some place to work. Then I'm gonna go over to the Fairlight tab. And we haven't spent too much time in Fairlight on this channel because I'm not an audio editor. Um, I, I don't know that much about the in-depth workings of audio, I know enough to get myself by, and that's kind of about it. So today we're gonna to be looking at a feature called ADR, or Automatic Dialogue Replacement. And I'm only going to touch on the absolute basics here. We may do a, a more in-depth um, kind of version or video about uh, more of the things you can do with ADR, but for our purposes, just to get started, we're just gonna record an audio track. So over here on the left-hand side in the ADR panel, we have list, record, and setup. So I'm gonna to go to setup here, and I'm gonna choose my record source. Now, it doesn't, it's kind of weird. You get these built-in microphones. It's kind of weirded out on my system here. And this one here, where it just has the two, is actually my Zoom H5. So that's connected as an audio interface device. And then I have a lavalier mic connected to that. So I'll wire myself up on there. So now you can see it's actually working much better. Looking at the, the levels there, you can see I've got my audio coming in through that. And then, so I want my record source to be my H5N. My record track is going to be audio three. My guide track, which can be, which can play as you're recording to kind of help keep you in, in track with things. Then our record file name. So I just called this ADR1. And I can set up a character if I wanted to, so I could have different characters, so I could keep track of that. I don't think I really need to do that here. But we're just going to look at the footage up here and see what we got going. And okay, so right there, this clip changes and it's me driving up these rocks. So I just want to say something about that. Pretty simple, not too complicated here. And now, up here on the timeline, I've got my rewind, fast forward, play, stop, and record. Now, it's not gonna record yet because I'm still missing a step. And that is down here on our audio three, 
we need to make sure we hit that record. Now all of a sudden you can see the levels start popping right there on that audio three. So I'm just gonna record a little segment while I'm watching that video so I can see, you know, so we can see how this is all working, all right? So now this is the top of the world trail in Moab, Utah. And as you can see, the rocks can get a little tricky in a few spots, but a decent Jeep with a small lift and some decent tires should be able to make it without any problems. And there we have it. We can play this back. This is the top of the world trail in Moab, Utah. And as you can see, the rocks can get... A Let's go get back to our regular timeline here. And there's our audio track with our recording. So pretty simple, not that complicated, just to get some basics understood of how do we set up the ADR so that we have our mic connected to it. We gotta make sure we hit the record icon on the audio track. We need to make sure that our audio track is set up in the, the setup section. And we should be pretty, pretty good to go there. And there's, like I said, there's other features in here. So you can have different characters with their dialogues, the list of different cues. So the ADR system is a very powerful system for doing dialogue replacement. But today I just wanted to show you how to get it set up so that you could record audio and do voiceovers fairly easily. And like I said, we'll revisit this in another video. So that's kind of it for getting started with ADR and dialogue recording. Now, what I said, I was gonna show you how to fix the problem if you hit that record and nothing happens. And then you go back to those system preferences and you don't see DaVinci Resolve in there. Okay, so this is how we're gonna solve that. We're gonna quit DaVinci Resolve, and we're gonna to go to the Blackmagic Design slash support page. Now we're looking, I know what we're looking for, but when you get to the page, it's gonna look like this with the, the latest things on here, and over here in the latest downloads, I'm just gonna hit Command F and 15.3, so that I get to that 15.3. You can just download the free version. You don't need to download Studio, even if you're running Studio, it's not gonna matter. You, just, you can just download the, the free version. Okay, now before we install it, we're gonna go to our Finder. Now, again, this should only be an issue with Mac OS Catalina and version 16. Okay, if you're on Windows, Thanks for watching, appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. But Mac OS Catalina, this is how we're gonna fix this problem. So from our applications folder, we find our DaVinci Resolve folder, just hit enter, rename that to like DaVinci Resolve 16. Now, install the 15.3 version and then run it. Then go back to the starting point of this video where we go through the setup and when you hit uh, record, it should pop up and say DaVinci Resolve wants access to the microphone. So hit OK. Now you can quit DaVinci Resolve. You can delete the version 15. Come back to the applications here. Let's hit enter on this again. Take off 16 and now relaunch version 16 and it should all work. Oh, should just, It's not that complicated. Just kind of pause through this as you see the different steps to make sure you get it right. But that's how to fix the problem with 16 on Mac OS Catalina. Thanks for watching everybody. We got some cool videos coming up, lots of interesting stuff. Always appreciate the comments that you guys leave, the feedback and the suggestions for new videos. I love knocking stuff out when people ask how to do something. I think it's super cool. So thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.